Hi there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Lee Sharon, and this is Old Tavern Farm. I hadn't planned to make a video, a full length video this week, but yesterday I got this box in the mail and I wanted to open it with you guys because it, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking I'm thinking is in it. Um, it's a really, really good deal. So I really wanted to encourage you guys to go out and look at it for yourselves. I'm gonna put a link in the description box to this, um, to this mystery item here. Um, my, big, um, my big problem and why I went to search out this, um, it's not really a problem, I'm so blessed, it's unbelievable. But, um, but I bake sourdough here at Old Tavern Farm and I also um, make a yeast bread and many of you have seen it, but I'm gonna put a, an info card in the corner of this video as a link to that um, recipe and that technique. Um, but these days I make a lot of sourdough um, as I'm looking after my gut health and um, continued health into the future. Um, and I have bannetons. These are the proofing baskets that you use to make sourdough, or you can use, you can use whatever you want, really. Uh, a lot of people use bowls or whatever, but I really like these proofing baskets. And um, I have one that is oblong. I actually have two of these. Um, but last week, another good deal was had by me. It is this huge six quart cast iron Dutch oven, enameled cast iron Dutch oven. Um, that I this is my first one I've ever had and it was on sale for like under $30 at Aldi of all places um, And it's it's wonderful. I love it um, But I really like to be able to make a round loaf of sourdough right now my oblong um, My oblong baskets are making this particular loaf right here um, and that's great, but it, it kind of doesn't give the right shape. It kind of squinches on the edges. You can kind of see where it's like wrinkly. Um, it's just delicious, but it's just not the prettiest loaf. And I'm really working on kind of fine tuning my, uh, the appearance of my sourdough loaves. Okay. So, uh, so as I was looking for a round banneton this week, um, I found this little item and it's actually a kit and I'm hoping that it is what it is. It's still sealed. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get you guys to come down, move this huge cast iron thing. I'm gonna get you guys to come down here and take a look as I unbox, um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what, what's in here. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here it is sealed. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. boxes this way okay uh, oh my goodness okay so this is what we have this is an amazing little kit you guys this this kit cost under nine dollars it was like eight dollars and 63 cents or something like that um, so it is this is a lamb okay so that's the razor cutter and we'll look at that in a minute this is the cutter right here. Look at this nice wooden handle. And the razor blades are packaged in a nice little cardboard box with a sort of faux leather um, shield for the sharp razor blade. So that was in the little box. And then I could do without the multicolored plastic, but I could give that to my grandkids. So, you know, guys know I hate plastic, but I'm willing to put up with that. Um, this is something I've actually been wanting. It's a silicone, um, a silicone pastry brush. And yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> another, I have two of these that are pink or kind of peach color. Um, another bench scraper. These, uh, this is actually like a bowl scraper. You use the curved end to scoop everything out. Okay. <laughs> look at this. You guys, look at this. It is a full-size wooden and metal dough knife or bench scraper. A lot of people calmed it. I mean, you can never have too many of these. And 
This would probably cost $8 by itself. What else is in here? Okay, so here's the... <laughs> I'm just going to set it down for a minute. Um, here's the, the round banneton. It is just the right size. It's wrapped in plastic. I hate plastic, but it does protect the with the removable um, fabric liner. Okay, so if you want to do it without the... Some people like to proof their bread uh, without the fabric liner. I prefer the liner. Okay, so that's going to fit into my big cast iron. Okay, so that's what I was... This is all I wanted for $8. <laughs> okay, there's more. Here's a... I'm not sure what this material is that it's made of. Uh, some sort of plastic, I guess. But uh, this is probably just like a brush. for. I'm not sure what this is really for, but brush to brush out the flour or just a dry brush to use for, for dry things. And then one of these, which I've also wanted for a long time. This, um, I'm not sure what they call this. Uh, I'll... When I'm editing this video, I'll find out. Um, but even these, this is wood. Okay, it's probably eight inches or so. I mean, it's really substantial wire. Really, really pretty well made. Um, and that's for, you know, mixing up your sourdough mix uh, before you. I don't have one of these, and I've wanted to have one of these for a long time. So I just wanted to share that with all you guys, especially all you bakers. This would be a great Christmas gift for any of um, the people in your life who like to make sourdough or just who like to bake because all these items together add up to a lot more than eight, $8.63 or whatever it is. If you have time, would you like this video? It really helps me and my channel is growing. I'd also like to hear from you in the comments. Share with me what you're making in your bake shop. Are you making sourdough? Are you making yeast bread? Are you making Chelsea buns? Are you making cookies or brownies? Or what are you making, cakes? Anything fun? I love to hear from you guys, so please leave me a comment. And as always, I will see you next time. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.